Hey everybody, it's Wolvie from Loaded Bolter here, here for another episode of Rapid Fire, and today I am joined by Katie. Uh, she's come here to take on the Rapid Fire Challenge, which from the last two episodes has taken a bit longer than I thought it would when we, uh, when we created it, but we'll see how Katie can get on with that. And then once we've done that, we will move on to just chatting about all things you in the hobby. Um, so... Brilliant. You just tell me when you're ready. I'll start a timer. We'll fire the rapid fire out there, and we'll see. We'll see where you get to on our uh, on our table. Brilliant. Well, my head is completely empty, so I'm ready. <laughs> head is completely empty is a good start, yep. right? So, and time starts. How many years have you been in the hobby? Four. What game systems do you follow? Just 40k, really. <laughs> Reel off your current armies. Uh, Chaos Space Marines, World Eaters, Army, Tyranids, and I'm starting to paint up some Dark Angels. Okay. What was your first miniature? First one I bought was a Tarrant Guard. Big model. What was your first army? Tyranids. What model or unit have you enjoyed painting the most? Forge Fiend. Which model or unit have you enjoyed painting the least? Gaunts. <laughs> What was the last model you completed? Oh, <laughs> completed. That is uh, a Tamagon, I think. Okay. How much painting time do you get per week? Hours. So many hours. I paint for like five hours a day, <laughs> most weekdays. Uh, what is the current model or unit you're working on? Tamagons. Okay. Single favorite. <laughs> single favorite thing about the hobby. The creativity behind it. Okay, and the least favourite thing? Um, people taking it too seriously. Fair. Who or what got you into the hobby? My partner. <laughs> what keeps <laughs> you in the hobby? The community. That's, that's fair. And what <laughs> is your main hobby target for the rest of 2021? Rest of 2021, I want to get a proper workable Tyranid army set up that actually has a decent amount of troop choices. That's fair. So you will be pleased to know that's the end of the uh, rapid fire section. So the quickest so far being three minutes 27. How do you think you did? I, I have no idea. I have literally zero concept of time. Well, I can let you know that this being episode three, you completed it in one minute and 50 seconds. So you, you're, you'll you be at the top of the leaderboard when this episode goes out. So, you know, we'll you see if anyone really can... really clear your head for rapid fire. <laughs> no well, thought. Think, well, so from the, from the two previous episodes, what we've had is people want to talk about the hobby. Mm -hmm. They want to um, explain that, you know, oh, yeah, I've been in the hobby for four years, but, and then you're kind of like, no, you've got to, rapid fire we'll get to it we'll get to it well, so I'm you obviously said i wanted to be quick <laughs> well you you did very well um so obviously like a lot of people some it was a person who uh, got you into the hobby how did yeah. how did that how did that come about so um i've been with my partner for almost 10 years um and about I think it must have been 2014. Um, she ran out of friends to play with. They kind of grew out of, grew out of it. So she would start pushing the models towards me. Um, she had the Chaos Space Marines and a Carnifex. She's like, hey, look, hey, look at this Carnifex that I painted really, really badly. You know, if you like doing creative things, you can paint this Carnifex and make yeah. it look good. And maybe I, I can buy you some more things to paint. And then maybe we could play. Um, but I just started by painting. I had absolutely no interest in playing. Um, and the more I painted them, I just wanted to keep going and I got really interested in it. And I started looking online at what other people are doing, painting and just like content creation. Um, there's some absolutely incredible people out there. Yeah, <laughs> there is. Some, sometimes you come across somebody, like they paint something, you're like, why do I even paint? This guy or this girl is awesome. And then, you know, but exactly. it, it, it's, it's all it's all good stuff, really. Oh, yeah. The amazing part of it, of it is like those people that paint really well and their models look fantastic. 
they're going to people who it's like a, a beginning painters and they're saying hey your work looks great and it's it's a really positive community yeah I th- you know I think that's that's really good when somebody recognizes that once upon a time that was them that was them you know doing the the smudges or not perhaps thinning their paint down enough or yeah. not using this tip that they pick up and, you know and if guys who are at the top of their game you know are sharing their painting tips and doing tutorials and stuff you know I'm not afraid to say that my best painted model in my eyes is my great unclean one and I completely mm-hmm. followed a tutorial for the whole of it but it doesn't make me any oh, less yeah. proud of it so you know no, um, still your skill that that you're the one that put the paint on the model so how long was it be- between obviously like your first paint and then you going I'm gonna play I'm gonna have a game here so it was a bit of time um I was 18 when I first started painting and then I was moving around a bit from uni so I just really focused on the painting um I played a bit of eighth edition um a little bit I got the full like two uh, four foot by six foot boards Nick Games Workshop used to sell, painted those up, fully intending to play. Um, just really didn't have that much chance. So That's an expensive ten... investment <laughs> with those big boards. Wow. I have spent so much money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of, I'm half proud of it, half really not proud. <laughs> but uh, I, yeah, it was a massive investment and I still use them. So it's, it, they're fantastic. They look amazing. So I paid, played a bit of 8th edition, but really playing properly I've only started since January yeah and January is when your kind of Instagram account comes That's online started, so you yeah. just kind of thought to yourself I'm just gonna pair it up and see what everyone else is doing because yeah you know is, is that separate from like your normal Instagram account or is it just yeah, yeah so I have like a personal Instagram account and I made the Warhammer one just for I didn't think my friends would be very interested in me just constantly posting painting pictures. I am exactly the same. Obviously, some of my friends are like, why are you posting this? And I was like, right, I'm going to create something that's different in a way um, yeah. and, and, and do it that way. Um, so two of my questions were Tyranids, why and Chaos, why? But you've answered those in the fact that a Chaos Army and a, was it a Khan effect was pushed towards you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so but when I was first starting to look at it, I actually wanted to play Necron. <laughs> okay but i had the con effects so it was like and i was a teenager with no money so i played turnips but you've never gone to necrons you've decided then to branch out into dark angels and <laughs> well that's that's because of uh the what was it the dark vengeance set yep so my partner got that um to try and beef out her space her chaos space marines so we got have dark angels from that and then obviously the new the co- new codex being out that is looking really good so <laughs> I yeah, think that's, it'd be fun that's to play with those. Yeah, that's good, and that, that's how I, that's how my friend, uh, we got Dark Imperium between the two mm-hmm. of us. I took the Death Guard side, and started the Death Guard army. And he took the Dark Angel side, yeah. um, and sometimes that's the best way to kind of just get into something. It's just you know, you share half a set like that, you get the rule books, you get all the, the yeah. pieces, especially if you're fresh to kind of playing as well. Um, that that really helps. So you've done. Uh, we spoke a little bit off camera about it. You've done yourself a little a little bat rep, which you know I've seen, and I thought that was it, it was really well done for somebody who'd never done it before. You know, there was no shaky hand syndrome. <laughs> there was, you know, there didn't seem to be too much in the way of uh, shyness. Are we going to see more? I'm going to keep doing them. I'm really enjoying doing it. The feedback I'm getting is just absolutely so lovely, um, which I wasn't expecting uh, when I started the Instagram. It was I was literally just going to post photos and like support other people and that was it um so I'm going to keep doing them I'm finding it's really useful to learn what I'm doing I can go back and watch it myself yeah and actually see what's happening and I also appreciate that a lot of people at the moment can't play in person so I'm I'm in a very fortunate position that I can I live with my partner we both play so a lot of people just wanted to see (laughs) And I mean, uh, like I say, and, that, and that's great. I'm, you know, at the moment, I I can't play. Um, yeah. You know, I played the Harry Potter miniatures game with my other half because she likes Harry Potter, um, but I, she didn't really, she, having never played a tabletop game before, she didn't, wasn't really, I don't think, fully into it. Um, that's not her fault. Everyone has their own interests, but you know, so I've not really been able to to roll that many dice in the last 
however long. So, you know, you are in a very privileged position and, yeah. you know, the rest of us can only watch on in, in envy, really. <laughs> well, so. if, I can, if I can share something that kind of cheers someone else up. That was that was my thoughts because I yeah, just started I just posting little updates on how my games were going on on stories. So I think it kind of evolved from that. Yeah, and it's amazing how many people do watch that because although I've not done like a full bat rep or anything like that, we went through a period where um, like back end of last year when we were still able to play, where we um, did like end of turn sort of like sum ups. Yeah. We didn't edit it or anything like that, but posting them to the like Instagram stories and stuff like that, and you know people were laughing it up and enjoying it. So it's yeah. it's weird how many people just want to watch it at the moment because they can't play it. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, and I think um, you've also got a lot of people coming into the hobby new and people coming back into the hobby because they've got all this free time now being at home. I yeah, I imagine Games Workshop, uh, you know, <laughs> are just I rubbing their hands. Articles about how much <laughs> money they've made. <laughs> Yeah, I know, I know. And then, yeah, it's, it, it is the same. I think, yeah, a lot of free time that people have had, they, they are thinking to themselves, oh, do you know what? I've not painted in however many years. I'll, I'll go to yeah. Games Workshop and see what's what, or I'll go online and see what's what. And, and that's, that's, that's really cool that, you know, everybody wants more people to play with. One of yeah. the issues in the area that I live was that for a long time I had models and then wasn't really playing. Um, and then over the last couple of years, you know, I found a regular group and stuff like that. What's it like in your area in terms of? I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> okay, obviously, I know you've only been sort of playing for yeah. years, but I don't know if you'd like knew from your location, people on social media who are close to you, like in gameable sort of. So area. there's no no one I've seen or that has shared their location that is close to me. I know that I do have a local um, games workshop shop, so I'm assuming when lockdown's over, I can kind of go and poke my nose in and, and see what that kind of community is like there and try and find some people to play with. I, um, I do have some friends who live in a different area to me who collect. I think they've got between them 11 different armies. They're ridiculous. So they're wanting to come up um, and play. Oh, well. and, and that's cool because obviously, you know, there's nothing wrong with playing the same people, but you do, you want to kind of play more people. And I'm sure yeah. you're the same as the rest of us where you want to play more armies and test yourself especially when you're new into it, you want to face, you want to face Eldar, you want to face Necron, you want to face Tau, you want to face Space Marines, you want to really face try a everything a bit different. <laughs> yeah. yeah, of course. Um, and that's, and that's really cool. So of the games you have had so far, mm -hmm. what would you say has been one of, or some of your favorite in-game moments? You know, some of those things that make you, re you remember a game because something happens. I think I had a game, um, before I really started recording them, where everything that could do, that had death rows <laughs> did death rows. Okay. <laughs> and I like destroyed everything. So that's like um, all of like my swarm lord, my hive tire, and they all just exploded. <laughs> and that was really fun. Um, I've had I, my favorite moments in games are when like the big models face off against each other. So when I charge something into like hell brute, <laughs> that's always really fun. Yeah, I think that yeah, those those are always like the the, the fun moments oh, yeah. when you know something that feels really epic. You know, I've yeah. had a game where I, it was the first time I fielded Ragnar Blackmane, and he came face to face with Mephiston, and it was like this is this is just awesome. And you know, <laughs> everyone else sort of stops to go, oh, we want to see that. Yeah, and yeah, those those yeah. are the sorts of things that I think we all kind of want to play for because some games go by and they're just uneventful. You either win, mm -hmm. you lose, or you know good fun but it's whatever but then sometimes things happen and you're just like like that is awesome <laughs> like yeah. that is why i do it sort of thing <laughs> it's to be a little bit chaotic and and go for the bad <laughs> matchup just just for the fun of it <laughs> sometimes well <laughs> well yeah and that's and that's the thing Some, sometimes you just you, there's a little bit in you this might lose me the game but you know what i'm gonna do it it'd anyways. be really cool <laughs> it would be really thematic you know my yeah. guy's not just gonna stand there and do nothing they're gonna charge in so in you go, <laughs> you know, and yeah, exactly. uh, that, you know that, that sometimes makes us come undone. But um, so one of the questions I asked you in the rapid fire was about uh, obviously like your the hobby as your main hobby aspiration mm -hmm. for um, this year, and obviously you said about fleshing out your tyranids for lack of a better term. Um, yeah. What what are your other ones really coming up over the next year or so in your head? In my head, um, I definitely want to start playing D 
different people and different armies and actually learning um, other armies at the moment. I've only only played against the World Eaters, so I have literally no idea how other okay. armies work. So learning a bit more of that aspect, um, learning my own rules. Yeah, well. So that I can play properly. Um, and I think I was considering um, starting just doing like little Instagram lives um, of painting and hobbying so I can try and create my own little community bubble, I guess. Yeah, and I, so I think obviously fun. much as we are, you know, um, a lot of people are, are doing that. And, you know, you, I've not done Instagram lives. I don't think yeah. that would necessarily suit me. I can't just, you know, I, I don't think I can sit there by myself and just talk and, you know, and interact. But I think for a lot of people, they might do the first couple on their own. And yeah. then all of a sudden people are like, oh, you know, I'll, I'll join you for it. Um, and that's where you can then sort of have a back and forth and you've got comments come in. So, it, I mean, I think it'd be cool to see you do some some Instagram lives. So I'll definitely, yeah. you know, keep, keep an eye out for that. <coughs> so one of the, the last questions that I always sort of ask is obviously we, we sit here and we, we talk about the hobby. We talk about how you got into it, what your journey is and stuff like that. But what are your hobbies outside of this one? What else do you enjoy doing away from wargaming? Now, a lot of people sit here and just go, wargaming? But like, what, what else? I've, I've actually got quite a few hobbies. So okay. I play cricket. So I wasn't expecting that as an answer, and I don't know why, <laughs> but cricket, yeah. such a British thing. Yeah, very, very British. Um, not very good at it, but it's it's a lot of fun. <laughs> so okay. Do you play for like a team, like a like a local team? Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I play for a local team. Um, they're trying to actually kind of groom me into a captain position, so that's that's very interesting. Generally means you're either the <laughs> loudest or leading by example. Take that whichever way you think you might the be. Loudest. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think um, I'm very good at coming from a perspective of being brand new being brand new into something so I yeah. can uh, really connect n new players to the more experienced players and, and kind of branch that divide and I kind of I'm trying to do the same um or if I'd like to do the same going forward uh with like my Instagram and if I go out into other platforms or anything that's that's something I want to take out uh take into that I also knit knit okay well I mean it's it's, 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 it's a creative thing isn't it it's a creative yeah. outlet oh yeah uh, so. it's it's all making something um i think that's that's why my partner was like you'd enjoy you'd enjoy painting mo models you like <laughs> making things come over to the so, dark side so yeah. Yeah. that's one of those things oh you like to knit maybe you'd like to paint this small piece of plastic and then lose most of your income <laughs> yeah i mean fortunately I've, I've, i'm starting a new job in a couple of weeks so that's my income's going to go up and i think it's just it's going to go mad yeah, you're going to start buying so many more models. <laughs> you start looking at like the Games Workshop and other websites going, ah, oh, I like that. Bye. My current basket there is 700. It's like my, my checkout is 700 pounds. I mean, you not just have, you should probably have a wish list, I think, rather yeah, than having yeah. it in your basket because you kind of have to remove stuff. But I, I have, I'm privileged to have like a little whiteboard here and that's got my little wish list on it of stuff that I want. And yeah. I kind of just rub it out when I've, when I've got it. But, um, you know, it's, it's good. It's good to have a, a list of things that you kind of want to do and want to achieve, um, which is which is really good. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, that's all the questions that I've got for you. Um, so, you know, thanks for for joining me on on this. Um, it's, it's been really fun to chat with someone. I've kind of been in my own lane, just minding my own business for two months and just uploading like bat wraps. So. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I like to chat with someone. And, and it's great for us to be able to have people who are willing to, you know, come on and, and, and do these things, whether they, you know, last half an hour because they go off under tangents about D&D &D or whether they, you know, a, a, a 20 minute snippets, you know, because perhaps your journey in the hobby isn't 30 years like a lot of people. Yeah, it's still great to get everyone's perspective, new, old, and it just gets, you know, eyes on what you're doing and people who are interested in what you're doing. It just gives them a little bit more. So, yeah. you know, and that's and that's ultimately what our, our role is here. So, you know, obviously, thanks. Thanks. Thanks for joining us. Well, thanks for having me. It's been really fun. Good, good. Um, so and if you um, want a chance to um, come on and have a go at rapid fire, just send us a message and we'll be able to um, 
try and set something up hopefully and, and get you on one of the uh on one of the future episodes so thank you very much for for joining us um and we'll see you next time